Okay. Good evening, parents. Welcome friends, parents, family, administrators, teachers, and artists. I am Rachel Creel, an art teacher at Precipity Hills High School, an advisor to our school's chapter of the National Art Honor Society. National Art Honor Society here at PHHS was established in 2010, and I took over the reins in 2014. Since then, our club, though I use that term loosely because it's so much more than that, has developed into one of the most hardworking, dedicated, and successful clubs at Persephone Hills High School. I always begin each year of NAHS by telling the new members, this is your club. You are the creatives. You have the power to transform this club into whatever you want it to be, and each year has been better than the last. The ideas that these artists have come up with are fun, engaging, and have left a lasting legacy. They have created boo grams and cotton candy clouds to sell to the student body, both of which were a huge success. They have spread their art throughout this school during Art Appreciation Week, with their artwork still hanging in the hallways today. They have slaved over murals throughout the school, working throughout their lunch periods to create permanent works that have added life and color to the hallways. They have curated and sold their works at this year's art auction, which raised $819, the most we've ever raised. They have designed club t-shirts, exchanged handmade friendship bracelets, gotten their nails dirty during our clay workshop days, and next week, next week we'll bond one more time over end of the year tie-dyeing. Throughout all of this, they have collaborated and established a camaraderie that is admirable to any organization. They are hardworking artists who have been confident and brave enough to share their gifts with their peers, their teachers, and their community. Tonight, our club officers will reflect on their years in NAHS and be instrumental in honoring their fellow members as we celebrate their artistic accomplishments and award each member with certificates and our graduating seniors with their prestigious honors courts. Our first officer to speak this evening is Michaela Mesker. Hello everyone. My name is Michaela Mesger. I'm a junior here at PHHS and I'm this year's public relations officer. I would just like to start by saying that making art has been a hobby of mine for as long as I can remember. It started out as something that I would do for fun and over the years, it became something I could use to express myself and my feelings. I remember in elementary school, my art teacher chose my work to be displayed at the mall. And in fifth grade, she told me I should join the talented art program that would meet every Saturday. I decided to join it, and looking back, I'm grateful that my teacher encouraged me because I got better at drawing and even started painting, which all led me to join NAHS. This is my second year in the club, and I'm so glad I could be a part of it. Being able to bond over creativity has been a really fun experience, and being an officer this year has taught me to appreciate every little event we have, because some of them take a lot of planning. I hope that in the future, art remains a familiar part of my life, so for now, I will continue to use it for expression and to bring inspiration to myself and others. As you see in the center of the stage, there are four candles, red, yellow, blue, and white. Each candle has a significant meaning and represents key ideals of the National Art Honor Society. Red, yellow, and blue are the primary colors, and from those three colors, we can create every color of the rainbow. Today, I will be lighting the yellow candle. Yellow signifies warmth and energy. It's the color of optimism, hope, and happiness. These are some of the key principles of NHS, and this year, we've had a lot of happy moments. Sharing ideas and being imaginative together brings us all closer, and events like our recent art auction encourage us to continue making art because others get the chance to appreciate it. Yellow can represent the sunshine on a cloudy day, and to many people, that's what art is too. And to my fellow artists, I want you to remember that you don't have to make art for anyone but yourself. Even when it comes to assignments from your art classes, the prompts are just guides. Take inspiration from the things that you love 
and keep making art as unique as you are. Thank you. Good evening. I'm Noelia Aguirre Reyes, and I'm the secretary of NAHS. Ever since I was little, art was all I was about. Whether I drew in books, my toys, or even my walls, it was the way I coped with what was going on around me. I could get my imagination out, and there was no boundaries. Well, except that I wasn't allowed to draw my walls anymore. Although I'm not going into college with an art major or a minor, joining NAHS has taught me many lessons. Whether it be art-related or not, I learned many new things about myself such as my love for ceramics and how much I dislike watercolor. It is for this reason that I like the blue candle. The blue candle represents freedom, trust, imagination, inspiration, wisdom, and confidence. All the things that making art has brought to me. NAHS has taught me about friendship, communication, commitment, and trust. It's incredible that many of us came into this club not knowing much about anyone else. All we knew is that everyone that joined loved making art. I never really thought that I would end up making many friends and connections with them. Ms. Creel once told me, you won't regret doing it, you regret not doing it. And she was right. That has stuck with me ever since. In anything I'm doing, I always remember those words. Through NHS, I learned many things, such as making art for myself and how I shouldn't worry about what others think about my artwork. No matter what you guys um, do, um, doing what matters to you is all that matters. So NHS members, do something that makes you happy and don't pay attention to what others tell to what others tell you. You do you. Thank you. Hello, my name is Emily Lee, and I'm the Vice President of National Art Honor Society. Throughout the years, NAHS has meant so much for me. It was a way for me to connect with other like-minded people and an outlet to express my creativity and passion for art. I'll never forget crouching under a table in the dark, scaring children during my first Halloween at the hills, or painting a mural while simultaneously fighting off the stink bug hidden in the corner. So many fun memories were made during my time in NAHS, and I hope future members will be able to continue to make fun memories like the ones I've had. In a moment, I will light the red candle. The color red symbolizes passion, strength, courage, and radiance. All of these are words that describe our society and members. The passion to make art fuels and drives us to create and express ourselves. As a society, we give each other strength and courage to not only be ourselves, but to accept each other for who we are and our creativity. And NAHS has always been a welcoming environment that is sought to encourage others to be and express exactly who they are. Finally, ratings describes the determination and ability of the society. Members are able to shine through their artwork with their own unique art styles. Each person is different and is really able to contribute so much to the society. As for my future, I will continue to use my knowledge of art to look at obstacles creatively and challenge myself to think outside the box to solve my problems. So, to my fellow NAHS members, I hope art continues to be a form of not only making and creating, but as a form of creative thinking to challenge others and yourself to grow as well. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Caitlin Badke and I'm the current president of National Art Honor Society. What I have learned being in NAHS for three years is that art can be seen everywhere. I joined NAHS because I wanted to be surrounded by creative and talented people who would push me to become a better artist. That it was the exact environment I was welcomed into. I wanted to make change in our school and in our community while also exercising my creativity and inspiring others. 
This fall, I am attending Montclair State University, majoring in fine arts with a minor in business. I plan to become an artist for my career and to pursue the art club at MSU. Throughout my time in NHS, I have made so many fond memories that will stay with me forever. The connections I have made and the knowledge I have gained is truly once in a lifetime. The, N the NHS members who have graduated before me help me show the dedication, hard work, and love that this organization deserves. Moving back to the candles, the last candle to be lit is the white candle. White is a reflection of all the colors, symbolizing new beginnings, a fresh start with new inspiration, motivation, and determination. The white light makes other colors look more vibrant in contrast. White light contains every color of the spectrum, just like everyone has the possibility to become an artist. We have the tools needed, it's just a matter of who puts the most effort into improving. White represents calmness, certainty, illumination, insight, knowledge, learning, and empowerment. The other primary colors are a part of white. Bright colors in contrast with white are an unbeatable combination. Art is such a gratifying experience. Most people see art as just a hobby, but that is just not the case. Art is necessary for expression to move people and to create emotions. Over the past year, my art skills have grown and that is because I'm constantly thinking about art. Not only is practicing art necessary for improvement, but just thinking about new concepts, ideas, and things that inspire you throughout the day helps with your creations. As you continue to go to museums and immersing yourself in art, you see the world from a different point of view. You begin to see shapes and lines differently and start to have an appreciation for that graphic design you see on billboards or the advertisements in magazines. Art is everywhere and even the, um, the most uncomplicated drawings needed a row of concepts to get their ideas across in the simplest of terms. My teachers once told me, though you may not know it, artists are everywhere viewing the world differently in their everyday lives. I try to keep the advice Ms. Creel and Ms. Pisa gave me in mind throughout the day. Future NHS innovators. I do not know where your past will lead you, and it doesn't matter if you will continue art with art with your career. You are all considered artists who have made an impact on NHS, your teachers, and our entire school. Continue to improve the things around you and to make a difference. My advice is to make sure you are listening to the critiques from your teachers and peers, because even though you think you, might need, you don't need their help, their advice is the most valuable in improving. I think we all know art is difficult sometimes. Art block is definitely real and affects us all when we least expect it. I've been there on the days you feel discouraged and just want to draw a big X on your paper and be done with it. However, pushing past the blockade towering above you, you forget what was holding you back, achieving what I like to call artist epiphany. There is no other feeling than the euphoria that hits you after completing a piece. Art is only finished when you give up on it. Make progress, continue with art for the future, make a difference with your art, have fun, and don't give up. Thank you. In a moment, the officers will present each member with their certificates and senior members with their graduation cords. These certificates are an official record of membership in NAHS and contain a membership card as well. The graduation cords, containing a rainbow of colors, represent each senior's commitment, dedication, and accomplishments as an upstanding member of the National Art Honor Society throughout two or more years of membership. They are proof of hard work and achievement and should be worn with pride as each graduate receives their diploma at graduation. Each member will also receive a red carnation, which is the flower of our society. Red carnations are one of the oldest cultivated flowers dating back to Greek and Roman empires. They symbolize love, devotion, and admiration, qualities that every artist should possess whenever they create. Love, devotion, and admiration to yourselves as artists, your talent, and your artwork. I will first present certificates and cords to our officers. Michaela Mesker. Noelia Aguirre Reyes. Emily Lee.
Caitlin Badke. The officers will now present to their fellow members. Lilac Ben Chiron. Marissa Besher. Uh, she cannot be with us tonight. Uh, Katie Chu. Gia Dotwani. Isabella Ferdinani, who could also not be with us tonight. Julitza Gomez. Anastasia Ickelson. Kelly Lee. Ayush Patel. Krishiv Patel. Sophia Patesta Oliva. Christina Stetzler. Jacqueline Tafro. <laughs> Ashley Taylorico. <laughs> Senior members will now be presented with their courts and certificates. Saryu Bupathi. <laughs> Michael Jobes. <laughs> Crystal Nunez. <laughs> Dimpy Patel. Emma Timney. For our final presentation of awards, current officers will be announcing next year's NHS officers. Speeches and elections were held in May, and tonight the new officers will be announced. Each new officer will be pinned by their predecessor and bestowed the honor and duty that comes with holding their position at NAHS. We will begin with next year's public relations officer. Being a public relations officer this year has given me a behind the scenes look at how the club is run. A lot of time goes into planning the events, but everyone involved makes it so much fun, so I'm grateful I could help out. As our PR representative, I spent the school year running the Par Hills NAHS Instagram account and promoting anything NAHS related. You should follow the account, by the way. Posts on our Instagram were created to feature our officers and members and to advertise for major club events like Art Appreciation Week, Boo Graham and Cotton Candy fundraisers, our annual art auction, and this final event, our court and certificate ceremony. Creating and distributing flyers, as well as coordinating and editing videos for morning announcements, were also a big responsibility of mine. With the school year coming to an end, that means a new public relations officer will take my place. I'm happy to pass this role on to Anastasia Ickelson. Congrats, Stacey. Up 
Up next is the position of secretary with Noelia awarding the new officer. As secretary of NAHS, you are in charge of keeping an active and accurate log of club attendance and participation, creating meeting agendas, as well as taking down notes from any officer meetings. This may sound like a simple task, but it requires an individual who is well organized and attentive and articulate into detail. Hearing what others have to say is an important quality to possess in this role. I would like to call up next year's National Art Honor Society Secretary, Gia Datwani. Congratulations. <laughs> Emily will next announce the vice president for next year. As vice president, there are many responsibilities such as collaborating with other officers and organizing events. The vice president must make sure that communication between everyone is key and prioritize events that the society must focus on. They also organize new activities for the society and communicate with members to make sure that tasks are done. My hope for the next vice president is that they will continue to work with the other members to run the society smoothly. I hope they will also prioritize their time and commitment to find activities and organizations that will not only help grow the society, but the members' artistic abilities as well. Congratulations to Michaela Mezger, the next vice president of National Art Honor Society. Now Katie will announce the next president of National Art Honor Society. I knew right away that I wanted to become an officer. I admired the club officers when I joined NHS my sophomore year and wanted to grow and acquire the same leadership abilities that they all possess. I wanted to be as well organized, hardworking, caring, and as persistent as they were. Their guidance led me to where I am today. I believe our next president and all the other officers as well have the same qualities I admired when I became and will become amazing officers who will bring new innovation to next year's members. So without further ado, I would like to congratulate Alex, oh, Ashley Tallarico and President <laughs> Ashley Tallarico for next year's National Art <laughs> As we come to the end of our ceremony, I would like to impart some words of wisdom to my art students. The lessons that making art teaches you are endless, and even after my many years of making and teaching art, I am still surprised and delighted when a new life lesson emerges while creating art. Here are some of the lessons I have learned and that I hope you keep with you as you continue to create and grow. Go with the flow. Overworking something usually makes it worse. Mistakes happen, and when they do, the best and simplest thing you can do is to brush off the dust or crumple it up and try again, this time armed with a little more wisdom. Making art is about doing something that makes you happy. It is for you and no one else. You can't please everyone, and everyone has an opinion. That's okay. Be the weirdo who dares to enjoy. Sometimes you have to try something that makes you uncomfortable to discover something new and exciting. If you practice at something, you will get better. You just have to want to practice. To my graduating seniors, I hope that you continue to make art as you walk down whatever path life takes you. You have a skill, a talent, and a true love for creating. Find a way to keep that passion alive. To my members who are returning next year, I cannot wait to see what brilliance and innovation you will all bring to NAHS. And my hope is that you all can make next year even better than this year. 
if that's even possible. Being an artist can be exhausting and discouraging at times, and, but, it, but it is also filled with such reward and satisfaction that the exhaustion is worth it. To make something from nothing is no simple feat and requires fortitude and support. So to family members here tonight, I think I speak for all of us on stage here when I say thank you. Thank you for your support, for nurturing your child's creative spirit, and for being their constant cheerleaders. Your encouragement and support is truly appreciated. Have a wonderful evening, get home safely, and go make some art. Thank you. We actually have one more announcement. Um, today we wanted to talk for all of NAHS and say thank you to Ms. Creel for all her hard work and dedication. Um, she's an amazing mentor that is constantly pushing us to create more and taking into account uh, quality, not just quantity. She is understanding, caring, passionate, patient, and kind-hearted. NHS wouldn't want any other advisor. We are so lucky to have someone that helps us even outside of school hours. We will never forget all the amazing things Ms. Creel has done for us and all the advice she has given us. From all of NHS, Thank you so much for all of your unwavering support. Go enjoy some refreshments. Thank you. <laughs>